for and what his nature is and what his requirements are to declare to the world the holiness and the righteousness of God to change lives, to bring people in. But you have to understand who he is. How are you going to bring somebody to God if you don't know who that is? What are you bringing them to? What are you bringing them to? You bring them to the church? That's good. It's better if you have a clear enough understanding of God that they can see who God is through the way that you live. So that way when you bring them to church, you're actually bringing them to the God that you serve. That's it. You have enough faith in who God is and what you've learned or what you've been taught that you can, that, that, that you can do that. Yeah. But if all it is is church, that's good. Pa pa Pastor Wyndham knows who God is. He can put him there. But it's better if you do it. He has less to work through if he doesn't have to work through the inconsistencies that they might have seen in you. My life needs to be a reflection of God's glory on a daily basis so that way the skeptics, so that way the sophists, so that way the philosophers don't really have a whole lot of, a whole lot of grounds of questioning what you say God is. Your life needs to be consistent. Yes, we're human. And humanity should be part of your testimony. I am a man. Will I make a mistake sometimes? Yes. But look at the entirety of my life. See if I don't take my mistakes a lot more seriously than you do. See if I'm not harder on myself than anybody else who would like to break me down and kill my testimony. My life needs to be consistent with who I believe God to be. And then when I've rebuilt my altar. With, with, with the, the things that I couldn't change about my life, the, that, that which I thought I couldn't get by without, once my spiritual condition has been fixed, right. then the rain can come. Yeah. But sometimes the rain hasn't come yet because you're not ready. Because you're still in doubt about what you're going to commit yourself to. Come on. Oh my God. The, 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 a double-minded man is Woo! unstable yeah. in all his ways. That's just not the world versus being saved. Yeah. But a man who is uncommitted, yeah. a man who does not have yeah. consequence and conviction yeah, yeah, about yeah, his yeah. life mm. is unstable. Yes. And until you get stable, you can't bear the weight of abundance. Because it does come with a cost. Don't think that abundance oh, yeah. is free. It requires responsibility. Yeah. To whom much is given, much is required. And some of you, some folks can't quite handle having much given because they don't have the Stability to have the requirement. Rebuilding the altar. Rebuild my altar. Make my worship the key central focus of what your life is. I'm not taking second place. My worship, a lifestyle, and a relationship of love to God needs to be, must be the central focus of an effective Christian. You're not gonna get by on a dance. I'm sorry. I don't care how many. I don't care how many. How long you dance and how many nights you do it. It's not gonna be enough to keep you. Eventually, you gotta stop dancing and start living. And your worship is what carries you. That is what compels you to be greater than you thought you could be. Because I love God. I know what I want to do, but I love God. I know how I like to handle it, but I love God. And he's not okay with it, so I can't be okay yes. with it. Even though it comes natural, even though it's more convenient, even though it's easier, it's not what I do because th this is not the God I have. Yes. Yes. Don't allow yourself to fall in the traps yes. of complacency, yes. of having church just to have church. Thank God for being in the foundational stages of a work of God. Because in theory, in theory, you're in a position where a lot of the dysfunction and a lot of the issues that make other churches ineffective and complacent and inert don't have to exist Amen. yet in here Amen. and are much easier to deal with. You are in a very blessed place yeah. to be able to yeah. follow the man of God and to be able to build the work that you have known and seen needs to be built. Yeah. But the devil will be attacking mm -hmm. when the hard times come and other churches seem like they got it going on. Can't live nothing. <laughs> you know that they can't live nothing. The they know they can't live nothing. Because they'll make all kinds of excuses and try to back it up by the Bible. And, and like I said, not serving the same God. Yes. There's it, it, a difference. Uh -huh. There's a disconnect somewhere. Uh -huh. But 
your perception, th th don't abandon the reality of the worship that you know to be. Yeah. Yeah. Because it becomes inconvenient or because it becomes difficult because when you pervert your worship you pervert the God you serve yes. and you begin true. worshiping it's something true. that is not true. the true and living God yes. Yes. don't want to have anybody not able and ready to respond about who God is and what God expects this is what I believe yes. this is what I know to be true based on his word based on my experience yes. and if I'm mistaken then that's why there's when there's a discrepancy, when Pastor Wyndham studies his word and I study my word, and we come up with two slightly different conclusions. That's what Sunday school's for. Yeah. 